about four topics three on prelims and one on mains our prelims topics are logics india nasa inside mission mission raksha gyan shakti and our mains topic is domestic hazardous waste management based on editorial okay now let's move on to our first topics logics india 2019 so why this is in news okay so to in recent time a uh, Union Minister of Commerce and Industry and Civil Aviation Mr Suresh Prabhu has recently launched the logo and brochure of Logix India 2019 okay so who conduct this event who is going to conduct this event it is Federation of Indian Export Organizations we can witness a delegates from over 20 countries and we can see more than 100 delegates visiting this event okay so why this Logix India is important so let's see what is logistics first so we know logistics are international goods which are used for exports and imports okay now this even focuses on the international trade of logistics its effectiveness like cost effectiveness and operational effectiveness okay and even our commerce minister has stressed for the diversification of goods like diversification of products and diversification of countries like we must focus on latin american countries and african countries in order to increase our exports and also he wanted to find some logistical solutions to difficult to reach markets and we already know this export industries focus on employment opportunities and investment opportunities and international logistics trade okay then this event also stresses about integrated logistics strategy okay so what is this integrated logistics strategy so this talks about the high logistic cost of india okay compared to other developed countries the logistic cost of india is too much high so this reduces the competitiveness of indian goods okay and also our world bank has predicted that our sector will expected to grow nearly 360 billion us dollars within the year 2032 hence an integrated logistic strategy is very much important so we can also witness an increasing globalization of indian economy and make in india campaign and growth of e-commerce business this also increases our logistics trade and this also provides employment to more than 22 million people that is 1.5 percent of 15 million people populations of india okay then who conduct this event it is conducted by federation of indian export organizations so this is an apex body of this export promotion councils commodity boards export development authorities and it is developed by ministry of commerce and other private trade and industries organizations okay so these members constitute nearly 70% of india's exports okay now let's move on to our next topic nasa's insight mission okay so why this is in important okay so nasa spacecraft has landed on the mars surface and this mission is a lander mission okay so lander mission is the mission is going to land on the mars surface and is going to conduct its experiment okay so it's going to burrow the surface of mars okay it is going to drill the surface of mars after a travel of 30 million miles for 6 months it landed on mars surface for 6 minutes of slow landing okay using brakings and parachutes okay now this is the ninth attempt on Mar on landing on the mars from vikings props in the year 1976 her last landing of mars is in the year 2012 the curiosity rover okay now let's see about the insight mission okay so why a lander okay this insight we can see interior exploration using seismic so it is going to talk about the quakes mars quakes and geodesy geodesy is nothing but the shape and the broad part of the earth or earth like substance okay then the heat transport so it talks about seismography geodesy and heat transport and it also studies the process how these rocky planets of the solar systems are formed okay we know the rocky planets are four interior planets of the solar system okay so why they have to focus on mars okay we know the earth and mars are very similar in their origin okay Near, after nearly 4 million years before the mars stopped changing its form whereas the earth had evolved and it became habitable whereas mars became cold and dry okay so for this we are going to study about mars so what are all the instruments used in this mission okay let's see so for the first time they have used the cube sats 
okay cube sats which is known as marco they have evenly call it as eve and valley the nickname of this cube sats or eve and valley so this the first deep deep space cube sats to enter into the space okay and the seas so seas is nothing but a seismographic instrument which is going to study the vibration in the mars and also study the mars quakes and heat prop 3 so this is going to see the heat in the mars by drilling to 16 meters within the mars surface and this rise it is using the radio waves it is going to use radio waves using doppler shift to know the core of mars okay it's also going to use instrument deployment camera this is going to see the color pictures of martian surfaces and context camera it is like a fish eye okay it is like a fish eye looking into the working space of this lander all these instruments are connected to a robotic arm okay that is going to have a mechanical mole and seismometer mechanical mole and seismometer to drill the mars surface this mechanical mole is in charge of germany and this seismometer is in charge of france so hence this is an important prelims topic to be studied now let's move on to our third topic mission raksha nyan shakti so why this is in news recently our defense minister has launched this event it focuses on showcasing the invention and innovations of defense drdo and department of this defense public sector undertakings and ordnance factories inventions and innovations okay this has resulted in filing of so many intellectual property rights this is conducted and implemented by director general of quality assurance okay this is in the news now let's see why this is important okay so this even showcases and en and enhances the self reliance of our defense sector so it wanted to increase the self reliance and also bring an indigenous defense industry culture using intellectual property rights okay so and we have also want to migrate from a technology transfer society to a self producing environment okay we have to enhance an ecosystem to promote innovations okay for this they have created an ipr facilitation center in april this year that helps to train nearly 10000 professionals on this ipr regulations and also it wanted to create at least 1000 ipr filings by using this ipr facilitation cell okay now let's see what is this intellectual property rights according to world trade organizations so ipr is nothing but a creation of minds it also gives exclusive right for the creator for a certain period of time for using it okay so this is important in news now let's move on to our main topic domestic hazardous waste management okay so this act is actually a editorial perspective now see what is this management so why this management is important okay when we segregate the waste like this recycling transport and process everything becomes much easier if we segregate the waste in the initial stage like keeping as dry waste wet waste and hazardous waste okay so what is this hazardous waste it is actually defined under solid waste management rules 2016 that defines so many domestic products like paints leads sanitary pads batteries which are produced at household level or called as this domestic hazardous waste okay now what are all the most important domestic hazardous waste so now we'll talk about this paints and lead okay according to world health organization the lead is the top 10 environmental health threat globally okay but all these paint industries are using lead and this leftover paints will have the toxic heavy metals and flammable solvents okay but most of the countries have banned this lead even india has restricted its limit to 90 parts per million okay but the worrying state is that most of the lead paints contains more nearly 2 lakh parts per million of lead okay most of these paints are produced by msmes and nearly 10% of consumers are only aware of this lead content and most of the people are not aware of this so hence this must be solved then 
pesticides. So we easily use repellents like mosquito and insect repellents in, in home, fungicides and garden herbicides. So these are also an important domestic hazard. Then what are the other domestic hazards? We can say that broken glass, okay, which we can easily see in home. So broken glasses, sanitary pads. So these are the important domestic hazards we see in the everyday life. Okay. Now we'll see what is the problem with this domestic hazard management. Now, see, this domestic hazard waste management is managed under solid waste management rules 2016 and industries and larger office can under hazardous waste rules, biomedical waste under biomedical waste management rules and e-waste under e-waste management rules. Apart from this, these batteries and other CFLs are, are under this batteries at, batteries at 2001. So, there are so many laws, but the enforcement are very weak. Most of these industries goods, biomedical goods and e-waste goods are also used in domestic, but everything gets overlap and that creates a conflict of law. Okay, now let's see whose responsibility is that to manage these domestic hazards. Now, it is the responsibility of municipal authority under solid waste management to look after this domestic waste. Okay, so they have to collect this hazardous waste periodically or otherwise quarterly and also they have to set up a, des a deposit centers, disposal centers for disposing these domestic hazard waste and they have also have to face the safe storage of this wastage and transportation to the disposal places. So this is the responsibility of municipal authorities which is more in most of the place are lacking. Now. We will see about this medical waste, one of the important thing. So biomedical waste is only covering the healthcare waste. It is not covering the expired waste or the disposed the medical waste. According to WHO, these disposed drugs like the toxic drugs are increasing the multi-drug resistant TB and resistance against HIV and malaria. So we are not focusing on these drugs which are exposed that not only destroys our environment but also creates this multi-drug resistant microorganisms globally. So what is this long and short of this domestic hazard waste management? So with this emerging modern lives and technologies, the responsibility also increases. So let's fix our responsibility by segregating waste in the initial level, like segregating it as wet, dry and hazardous. So this will help us to manage our domestic hazardous waste. Okay. With this, I conclude today's topic. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.